There we go. I'm slipping away to meet up with Benita to find out more about the challenges of her life with Josh. It's pretty obvious to anybody who sees you and Josh together that this is an incredibly special relationship. He's my world. I think there's just such a closeness because as Josh has gotten older, a lot of things that you would stop having to do and that he would do for himself, I've had to keep doing. But you could be forgiven if you were resentful of that fact that he should have grown up by now, should have a bit more time for me. But I guess I just accept him for who he is. So the compensations are far greater. A smile, a yeah. hug, and that's, that's it. Everything is brilliant. We're just so comfortable in each other's company that it's just easy. But it's not just his company that you're comfortable in. You spend the time when you're not directly dealing with Josh, working in his special school. What qualities in any person would you say it took to be able to work 24-7 with children with really high special needs? Patience is a big one. And really a joy of life, because all of our children have gone through so much and they don't complain, and it's really humbling being around some of our children. Any one of our kids could not be here in a few weeks' time, which is an awful, awful thought, and they enjoy coming to school. How do you come to terms with that? That's tough. That was one of the first things, within the first year of me working there, we lost three children and that was really tough and I did really have to think about whether this was the right place for me because Josh's epilepsy was really unstable and it took a lot of soul searching for me to carry on. Is this one he's having up to 30 fits a day? Sort um, of that sort of... <laughs> up to 200. 200 fits mm. in a day and you were coping with that and with other special needs children as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a halo over your head. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> there really isn't. What's the prognosis for Josh? Josh's got a really good prognosis. His epilepsy is stable. Um, he is getting bigger and stronger by the day. <laughs> <laughs> he has nothing that will limit his life. So he could live a good long life? Absolutely. But conversely, you know what that means. Mm -hmm. Does this mean it's got to be you looking after him indefinitely? That is what I would like that your life is totally bound up with Josh? Mm, yeah. Yeah. I would like to look after him as, as long as I am physically able and emotionally able to do that. You know, many of us faced with the prospect of looking after a relative for life would feel, at the very least, daunted. Benita not only enjoys it, but relishes it. It's up to us, I think, to make her and Josh's life that much more enjoyable. <laughs>